Hi, I am Sophie. I will be your trainer for this course on discounts. Discounts are done based on email from business or colleagues. Discounts are entered for each customer, so email request needs to have customer SAP ID, material number, discount and the exact date from which discount is valid. Approvals from appropriate people need to be provided together with the request. These are the scenarios which we need to learn for discounts. First, how to enter new discount for material. Second, how to change discount for material. And third, how to display discount for material. Welcome to the module, Applying, Modifying and Displaying Discounts in SAP. Welcome to the Applying, Modifying and Displaying Discounts in SAP. Completing this module will enable you to understand how discounts works in Finance Core. This course will take approximately 15 minutes to be completed. This course contains knowledge and information about the discounts in Finance Core. This course contains video with audio. Turn on the closed captions if you are taking the course without the audio. Simulation. Following the knowledge section you will see a simulation of the steps to be performed. This course is meant for companies associates who are responsible for applying discounts. Objectives of this training is, following the training the user should understand to enter new discounts, change the existing discounts, and display the discounts in Finance Core, how to code non-PO invoice with multiple account assignments and tax codes. Let us learn more about invoice data. Clicking the icon will prompt the tool this pop-up. Click here to fill multiple dates. Date ranges should be used here. You can also use these fields for excluding dates or range of dates. Now that we have completed learning ABU invoice data section, let us understand vendor data section output report. This report contains invoice status posted, pending resolution, due date, payment date, if paid, clearing date etc. Now that you have understood about invoice data and vendor data, let us now get familiar with process data within VIM analytics reports. Process data. In this section you can search for an invoice by the DP documented, DP document types such as, PO, NPO, down payment, company code, invoice document number, accounting document number, fiscal year and channeled, such as, Elink ICS, Ariba and Scan. In this section, you can also search an invoice by invoice type, such as PO or non-PO and status. The status could be searched by overall status, such as, open. Completed, awaiting approval, coding is finished, awaiting approval, coding is not finished, awaiting approval, in DP process, awaiting approval, posted, rejected by approver, or, it could be searched by specific status like posted, blocked, suspected duplicate etc. Key in the company code vendor name with star in the beginning and in the end. Select THR correct vendor. Scroll down the bar that is at the right of the report and you will see further options to search for an invoice. Accounting data. In this section you can search for an invoice based on the accounting information and search by the person who posts the invoice, GL account, cost center, internal order and WBS element. Let us understand about due dates. In this section, you can search for an invoice according to the due dates of the invoice to be pay. You can search the invoice by due date, days to due. And overdue. This section also have the option to search for invoices with cash discounts. Here, we will be learning about work item data section. In this section you can search for an invoice by the end of the current agent of the invoice, the role of the person that have to take action in the invoice, the workflow type, such as, approval workflow, block PO invoice, line item. Here, we will be learning about document dates section. In this section, you can search for an invoice according by the following options dates, DP start date, posting date and or payment date. Here, we will be learning about process flow section. In this section you can search for an invoice according to the flow that invoice followed within the system, even, if the invoice was posted and then reversed. In this section you can search by number of reversal document, company code, number of original document, that is, invoice document number and block reason, such as, D and price discrepancy. Now that we have covered the process of how to enter a new discount and how to make changes in new discounts, let us learn how to display discount for material. Enter VK13 into the transaction code field and press execute button to execute.
Insert condition type. Click on key combination. Select the customer or material option. Press choose button or hit enter. Fill in the details to identify the entry such as sales organization, distribution channel, customer, material, optional, valid on. Press the execute button to see the changes. View the displayed result. Fields that can be seen such as discount amount, valid from date, and valid to date. During this section, we have covered how to display discount for material in SAP system. Now as you have gone through this course BIM Analytics, let us summarize this process. During this course, you got familiar that, discounts is a process applied in Finance Core, based on the email request from business or colleagues. We also understood about entering, editing and display of discounts. Thank you for completing this course.